The following contest is an eight-man battle royal. Making his way to the ring from Pennsylvania, weighing in at 233 pounds, Pat Mack. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving it in a matter of moments. Uh, I think Happy Corbin is the luckiest man in WWE. Why? I would agree with that assessment. Let's talk about this, Cole. From riches to rags, back to riches. How can you not be inspired by Happy Corbin? He doesn't have to rub it in our face. And from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Happy Corbin! You know, here's a guy who was at rock bottom. He was begging people for money. Yeah. Then he gets lucky, he strikes it rich, and now That's he it. treats everyone like a bunch of idiots. And all it took was one lucky roll of the dice to change Happy Corbin's fortunes. Well, in my opinion, Happy Corbin is one big happy jerk. Spoken like a true loser. One of the hardest hitting superstars in the game. And from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. A man who was once seen as honorable, once seen as respected. Who are you to decide what's honorable, Saxton? Roddy's the man. Roderick Strong, success has gone through the roof. And I guess Roderick was willing to give up a part of himself to achieve success. It's amazing how easily it is to fill a hole in yourself with championship gold, Byron. Here comes the ace of Spain. And from Madrid, Spain, Weighing in at 154 pounds, A-Kid! Oh, A-Kid is well-trained in grappling, <laughs> striking, and high-flying, and has already earned a great deal of success in NXT. And then where are his parents at? Come on, let's go! Leave him alone, Corey. Who gave A-Kid a passport without adult supervision? He's physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in this big-time match. Oh, this is my favorite part. He's going to sing. Y'all know what time it is. This is the part where we crank it up. Let's crank it up. Now, here we go. People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You can get with this or you can get with that. You better get with this. Because this is where it's at. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? 
See, I be skipping and jumping, leaving the competition. I make him disappear like your favorite magician. And I ride it till the wheel fall off. I bounce back to back till they next get soft. Most of the time you see me, I'm being simple. Then many times I be busting them up like a pimple. Stating my claim to fame. To be one of the baddest young brothers step foot in this game. And I haven't even started yet. You can better believe I take it off the show shot bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? was leading Lashley to victory in a WWE Championship match at WrestleMania 37. After a tough upbringing, nine years spent locked up, MVP is living proof you don't let past failures define you because now all he does is win. what time it is oh no saxon was that your alarm clock this guy freaks me out and from the bottomless pit weighing in at 260 pounds the boogeyman <laughs> guys to me the scariest thing about boogeyman is what we're seeing are not mind games. This is simply Boogeyman being himself. Well, you're actually right, Corey, and being himself has earned the Boogeyman wins over Hall of Famers yeah! like JBL and Booker T. Right, Pure nightmare fuel. A very erratic and eccentric superstar. I've always wondered, guys, do you really think those words taste good? Why don't you go ahead and sample them, Saxton? You let us know. Uh, I'm good. Boogie, he's over here. Oh, look, no, turn around, Boogie. No, quiet, Corey, quiet. Well, here is a great star with a ton of potential. A graceful flyer. You're right about those things, Cole, but unfortunately, potential doesn't pay the bills. Can Carrillo turn it around? We find out And right their now. opponent from Monterrey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Humberto Carrillo. A lot of people have questioned just how far Humberto Carrillo can go, but he assured me that he is as confident as he has ever been. A guy who treats every match as if it's the biggest one of his career. He definitely plans to steal the show tonight. Perfect drop kick. 
vicious right forearm. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. You throw that attack. Drop kick. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Being eliminated. He is truly feeling it right now. As well he should. And just like that, he said MVP has been eliminated. This could be bad. This, this could be really bad. Lights out. And that can vanquish Corbin. here. I agree. It was quite the display tonight. Your fifth victory or your 5,000th. As he's showing right now, nothing matters more here in WWE than having your name called in your arm raised.